Hey, it's Steve with Raybox. I wanted to show everyone our 53 Chevy. You guys have probably seen it. A lot of people have seen it, seen bits and pieces of the videos we've taken, different pictures we've taken. Um, I don't think I ever shot a video of the whole thing, though, um, after we finished it. So I thought I would do that just so you could see all the way around and what it looks like. So we use a ton of parts that we sell. Um, obviously, the grill, you could tell that's shiny and new. Fenders, and pretty much anything that's black is something that we sell. It's one of our aftermarket parts. All we did was clear coat it and, uh, and put it on. We didn't do any body work. We did ream some holes to get things to line up and everything because you typically have to do it on any of these older vehicles. Um, but we didn't do, obviously, any body work because we didn't do body work. The truck itself, uh, we cleaned it and cleared it. So that's how we found it. Um, it did have the fenders, uh, the original fenders on it, or not on it, but in the bed of it when we first bought it. But uh, we had decided to... Um, to get rid of those and just put these on again so people could see how the aftermarket panels that we sell fit uh, the vehicles. So here you go. I'll walk around it. I'll try to do my best talking about a lot of the different modifications that we made. Um, if you have any other questions, you know, post a comment here or, you know, send us a message or whatever. We'd be happy to answer it. If you look on uh, our website, raybuck.com, there is a project page and there's a project 53. It details um, all the stuff that we did and there's like a build sheet at the end so it talks about everything that we did all the suspension parts that we did that we changed on it um, to the wheels and tire sizing and transmission engine all that stuff so that's all in there so uh, stock body stock chassis again change the uh, some of the body panels uh, because we wanted to or because either they were missing or completely rotted away um, you can see like the lower cowl sections we TIG welded our pieces into that and the inner pieces. Um, these running boards are original. The cap corners are replacements. So same thing. Anywhere we did our panels, we just TIG welded it up so you could see how it fit. We ended up replacing most of the floor inside of it, a chunk of the firewall. Um, and I think that was mostly it for the body. Um, original chassis, we did put a heights front end in it so that dropped it we did two inch uh, uh lowering spindles on it so that brought everything down it gave us a more modern suspension in the front which it rides really really nice um, power steering and in the back there's there was an original leaf spring setup we took that out and we put an aftermarket leaf spring setup in it from chassis engineering really nice setup uh, the only problem was it didn't lower the truck enough so we have a whole other video showing what we did to lower it there's not lowering blocks in it we didn't airbag it we didn't do anything like that um, we modified the the frame under there and then just moved the the mounts for the leaf springs up um, but it has a nice uh fairly low ride to it um, wanted it to ride the way that it sits not use air suspension or anything like that so that's how it is 18 inch steel wheels from Detroit Steel Wheels. Uh, it's probably hard to see in here. The, the lighting isn't very good. Um, well, you can sort of see it there. I did it, we did a two-tone, so we did black uh, for the inside and then um, a, that blue around the outer rim. So this truck obviously was originally blue. We found the original factory color code for it and just uh, went like a shade, one shade slightly darker, and that's what we used for the wheels, for the um, interior the inside of the cab and then for the firewall and anything on the inside of the engine compartment that we painted uh, Casey Kennel guy out in Somerset PA did the artwork on the truck which is unbelievable he does all this stuff by hand there's no stenciling or anything like that he literally I took it out to him he sat down on a uh, milk crate and just started painting this thing so um, unbelievable because it looks like it was originally on the truck um, it really made it made the truck I couldn't believe it when I picked it up that one day and he pulled it out of his garage and I thought, wow, that's what the truck, uh, what it needed. We replaced the inside of the bed. We actually got wood and cut it ourselves and then used the stainless strips that we sell um, and the, uh, the angle strips uh, for mounting to the, uh, to the sides of the bed. And then we sprayed the whole inside of the bed with bed liner. So we sell a rust-free bed liner, and that's what this is. So we sprayed the inside of the bed up to this point right here where it's bent out. The top isn't sprayed. We did that front bed panel. We did all of our wood with it, um, and it looks I think it looks great. We get a lot of comments on it. The gas filler. There is an aftermarket aluminum fuel cell under here. I think it's a 17-gallon tank. I forget exactly which... Uh, which one it is. We got it from uh, Summit, I think. But this fuel uh, door is off a Jeep 
Wrangler, I believe it was. Fits perfectly. Um, you can see, oh, there it is, RCI. So we did an RCI tank. The tailgate that was on it, we put our aftermarket lights on it, the original style lights, they're just aftermarket. And then there's another video or set of pictures showing this rear bumper. It is the original bumper, but um, I mod heavily modified the brackets to bring it up and tuck it in because this bumper, these kind of goofy, they stuck out like eight or 10 inches and they were down really low. Well, the truck sat up a lot higher too originally. So I wanted it tucked in, but I didn't want to really modify it too much. So um, we just tucked it in and left it like that. You probably saw I threw a bike rack in it. We did take it on Hot Rod Power Tour last year in 2019. So um, that was cool. We did about 1,200 miles in four days. Uh, Walt and I took it out and we had a blast in it. The thing ran great. Um, it has a small block, just a little 283 in it. Wanted something that um, was decent on the highway and had a little bit of pep. Put a 700R4 in it. So we have the overdrive, which if you have a three speed in your vehicle now and don't have overdrive and are thinking about it, just do it. Holy cow, what a difference it made. Um, just drivability, the RPM uh, range on the truck is like next to nothing now. And uh, it's just unbelievable. Like the 700R4, it took a little, uh, little configuration, a little getting used to to get everything um, uh, tuned just right uh, with all the cabling and everything. It wasn't that bad, but uh, it, oh, sorry, trying to open this. It made, a huge, huge difference on the highway. It's pretty unbelievable. Oops, oh, sorry. I'm trying to get this hood up. So you can see the underside of it. Sometimes it sticks a little because it's sitting for a while. And there's the engine compartment. Let me actually grab, oh, you can probably see it. So you can see the firewall. We cleaned that up a ton. This thing was beat to hell and back. Uh, literally beat with like a hammer and there were pieces of metal pop riveted to it and it was just a mess. So we cleaned all that up, painted it, and then there's the small block. Um, yeah, those Mickey Thompson valve covers are original valve covers from, I don't even know, back in like the 70s or 80s or something. Um, I just cleaned those up and painted them. We did put air conditioning in it. Uh, this was from Southern Air. A lot of people do vintage air. Um, the Southern Air system is nice. Um, their instructions are pretty terrible, but uh, once you figure it out, it's not too bad, but it's a nice system. And all that stuff's tucked up underneath the dash, so you really don't see any of that. Um, but that's it for the engine compartment. So there's not a whole lot else to show there. Not a whole lot of modifications there. We'll go to the inside of the truck so you can see what that looks like. And let me turn the dome light on, the original dome light. Yes, it works. Headliner, just an original style cardboard headliner. And then uh, we did some cut pile carpeting, like a grayish color, like a medium gray or whatever. And then the uh, seat cover, you guys have probably seen the seat cover before. We sell these seat covers, they're actually seat upholstery kits. So um, it's the upholstery kit to actually match the vehicle that you have. It's not a generic kit that you have to try to make work on any vehicle. Um, so it is, it is a kit that would fit your particular vehicle. If you go on our website, you can see all the different kits that we have. They come with hog rings, hog ring pliers, that type of stuff. And then we also sell like the seat foam and the backing and everything too. So um, if you have a bench seat, we do have them for some bucket seats, but if you have a bench seat vehicle, mostly at, uh, you know, the trucks, um, there's a pretty good chance we have a cover for you. This one, is what they what we call a designer series it has fairly narrow pleating except for the center that is considered what uh, they would consider a bolster um, so this one is the designer series with a center bolster sometimes you'll see that with a center and a side bolster so that vinyl strip that's in the middle you'll also see um, on either side this seat was pretty narrow so i didn't want to have to have one leg sitting on vinyl all the time when i was driving it so um, i didn't do that i didn't put it in there we just did the center one to give it a little bit of style um, we did an original style dash. So again, aftermarket gauges and glass and everything. Um, we sell all of that. So this is, these are the parts that we sell. All the little trim pieces for the dash, everything here, we sell all of these pieces. Um, so you can get all that from the website if you are building one of these cars. Even the rear view mirror, um, all the trim pieces, all this stuff. Steering wheel, we don't, this is I think just a really inexpensive Grant steering wheel. Um, I wanted something that looked like the original. Unfortunately, I couldn't find an original style wheel in a smaller size. The original wheels were, uh, I forget, they were like 18 inches in diameter, 18 or 20. I think they're like 18, um, but you can't, no one right now makes an aftermarket one smaller than that. So this was as close as I could get 
to looking similar to what was in there. Um, we did the low car midnight shifter in the floor, which is a nice little setup. Um, it's just an automatic, but uh, we did the floor shifter in it. And then we did an emergency brake cable way down here in the bottom, the emergency brake handle. That was actually out of like a Volvo or something. Um, I think it was a Volvo. So we just kind of did a little notch in the seat riser and put that in there. Um, this little piece in the middle is just uh, removable. We threw that in there for the power tour and I just haven't taken it back out. So there are all those pieces on the inside. You can see the inside of the door panels. Again, we didn't change any of this. We didn't modify anything in here. Um, we wanted it to be as stock as possible. Like I said, you can't even see the uh, air conditioning unit. Uh, let's see uh, if I can get the button pushed. Uh, it's stuck right now. Uh, the air conditioning unit sits there where the glove box used to be. Um, so that's that. And I hooked, I actually hooked the air conditioning controls up to um, the two original um, uh, knobs that were in the dash. So one would have been, I think, your uh, throttle or your choke. One was probably your choke, one was your throttle, uh, or it might have been something for temperature. Um, either way, those are both hooked up to the air conditioning. One runs the fan, and the other one controls the temperature um, of the AC unit. I did put a 54 style um, knob for the uh, windshield wiper motors because the 53 would have been like that reddish brownish plastic. I didn't really like that, so uh, I put the chrome one in. But uh, and then obviously the turn signal adapter. But uh, yeah, that's the inside. Oh yeah, we did put uh, uh, seat belts in it, so we do have the retractable seat belts on either side. That was really the only major change uh, I think on the inside of the truck. Let me shut that light off. Oh yeah, even the original tag that was still in here. This is one of the few things that was still in decent shape. So we took that out, cleaned it up, and then uh, riveted back in. And then I'll show you on the other side. You can see I was when I was talking about the body panels, what we did over here. Same thing. We did the cab corner on this side. Um, I think we did the inner on the other side and just the outer on this side. And then we did the lower door skin and the lower door bottom on this one. Um, so we literally cut the whole bottom of this door off because it was shot. It was gone. Um, put the inner on and welded it. Obviously welded all that in place. And then we put the outer skin on just TIG welded in so you can see what it looks like here. But uh, you'll see like you can't even tell like with the inner because we just did the body work on the inside because we wanted the inside of the cab to look nice and be clean. So it, we literally cut it like up in this area here in this flat area all the way across and just whacked that thing off. Weather stripping, uh, we sell that too. This was from Precision Replacement Parts. We have all of that on the website if you're interested in that, if you need it. We sell pieces, we sell kits uh, to do the whole cab. We have the glass as well. One of the things we did was um, clear glass for the windshield and then the smoked or the tinted glass for the side windows and for the, the back window. You probably can't tell right now, like if you saw the truck outside, you could tell it has a real slight tint to it. It just makes it a little bit easier to drive during the day um, because it cuts down on a little bit of the glare from the sides. But I just kept the, um, uh, the front as, uh, as clear. And there's this side of it. So that's it. I know there was a ton of other stuff that we did as we were building it. Again, we have videos showing a lot of that. We have pictures showing a lot of it. If you have any questions, definitely let us know. I just wanted to get a video of the whole thing so you could see how it turned out and um, just kind of give like a quick walk around. So uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe to our channel. We appreciate that. We're constantly shooting different videos. Um, this one just happens to be about the truck that we built to show off all the parts that we, uh, that we offer but we're always doing stuff. So if you have any suggestions on something you want to see, maybe a how-to on installation of some of the parts, or if you want more details on this truck or on the Mustang or one of the other vehicles, maybe on Walt's Camaro or whatever the case is, just drop us a message either here. Um, you can post a message here or a comment here, um, or just shoot us an email or a, uh, uh, an IM and, uh, and we'll get back to you. But definitely subscribe and, uh, and we'll keep things going. We'll get more videos posted and uh, show more of the vehicles that, uh, that we like to mess around on the weekends. Thanks for watching.